boy, it's tutor time. If you want to be smart and you want to be cool, this is the place for success in school. I'm Patty, and I am a teacher, a tutor, and a fur baby lover. <laughs> I'm also a mom, and I am also your friend, I hope. But today, I am fighting a war against illiteracy. And I got a secret weapon. The dictionary! As a teacher, I know learning how to read is quite a task. And there's a question that we usually forget to ask, and that is, do you know the meanings of the words that you're reading? We could sound out words all day long, but we are still illiterate when you get the meanings wrong. Hey, find full meanings to words you hear or see is your very first step towards super literate. words both written and said without misunderstandings and bring you peace instead. Hey, I know, like I said, learning how to read is quite a task, but understanding what you read is an even bigger task and it lasts all life long. So that's why I really push the dictionary. You got to make it your friend. It will help you with words till the very end. And it will fill your life with meaning and help yourself grow. And it will add more understanding to all that you know. And as long as we have words, there are enemies to our understanding. Our, there are enemies to our native selves, which happens to be aware, alert, and smart. We're all born that way. You know, when you come out, you're aware, like, what's around me? Woo, what's going on? And you're alert, and you're aware, and you are smart, whether they want to say so or not. Um, just because you can't say all the things that are in the encyclopedia doesn't mean that you're not smart. And when you're first born, you are also interested and you're ready to learn. That's how we are. So, enemies come around. And they start doing things to our bodies, to ourselves, to our alertness that is not good. They make us feel like we are illiterate or have illiteracy. Ill means not. And C means the fact of being. And literate means that you can understand, you can read, you are able to know. Literate sort of sounds like letters. Literate, you can read. Literature. All right. Well, I got a special show for you today. But first, I have two study buddies with me, and they're in my war against illiteracy because they like showing or demonstrating what happens to you when there's a word that you don't fully know. In other words, the first enemy of being literate is absence of mass. Absence of mass. There's, it's not all there. You think it's a box, but maybe it was just a I don't know, a cover to a book or something, or who knows? But it's an absence of mass, you're not quite sure. And there are some signs that go on in your body that 
Major Joy and Sergeant Buddy want to show you. You ready? So here are the signs of the absence of math. Oh, first, the very first rule for success in school is what Joy is doing and she and attention. Oh, here comes Sergeant Buddy. Attention. Awesome. All right. And now to the absence of mass signs. These are little red flags, if you may, of, hey, something's going on. We're not as alert as we used to be. And that means we're getting bent. Yeah, bent. Buddy, can you show me bent? Yeah, show bent. Yes, <laughs> that's the easiest one. And what are you doing, girlfriend? Okay, the next one is squashed. Squashed. Oh my goodness. You ever just, you get bent and then you get squashed. Hi, good boy, buddy. Oh, oops. <laughs> I dropped this tree. Squashed. I don't know if you can see her. Buddy, can you show board? Board. Board. That's squashed. Board. <laughs> They're going to skip right over and go to sort of dead. Good job, buddy. Uh, sort of dead. Yeah, good girl. Another sign is spinning. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
wanted to know, who's present today? I thought, present? I didn't know I needed to have a present that day. And all the other students, when called on, said, here. And I didn't see any present anywhere. Well, I felt kind of stupid. And then I got a little bad feeling. And when the teacher called my name, my head was reeling. I yelled at my teacher, then I ran out the door. I did not want to go to school anymore. I ran and ran until I had to stop. The leader of the school wanted to talk. The leader asked me, why are you so upset? I didn't know what to say because I didn't know just yet. But I did know this. That day at school, I broke the rules. I made my teacher cry. I felt real blue. What could I do? I didn't know the reason why, but I was feeling blank and stupid. Blank and stupid and all mixed up and I had a tummy ache. I was blank and stupid and all mixed up with a tummy ache. Because my teacher taught me something I had no picture for. I felt like, well, what could I do? I thought school was just a fool. And I was feeling blank and stupid. Blank and stupid. And all mixed up. And I had a tummy ache. When I listen and I hear a word I do not know, I feel real blue. What can I do? Can you help? I asked the principal. Before I blow, because I hate feeling blank and stupid and all mixed up with a tummy ache. I hate it. You know what the principal said, the leader of the school? He said, that's just what words can do. Words that you do not know. I'm going to show you that. This little... Words. Words can do. Words you do not know can make you feel blank and kind of blue. Well, that's not alert and smart. Then the leader of the school told me about a girl named Mary who got a real boost from the dictionary. He said that Mary had an unknown word, a word she didn't know. And everywhere that Mary went, that word would also go. And it followed her to school one day. Made Mary go slow. All the children laughed and played, but Mary just felt low. Because Mary had an unknown word, a word she didn't know. And everywhere that Mary went, that word would also go. Well, Mary's teacher lectured her. Mary, why are you slow? You've got to look up unknown words everywhere you go. Mary, don't be contrary everywhere you go. Because Mary, the dictionary has all those words you don't know. So Mary went and found her word. And now that word she knows. Now everywhere that Mary is, her dictionary goes. After she heard that, after I heard that, I went and looked up my word to find what it meant. Do you know there's more than one meaning to the word present? The first meaning is gift. That's what I already knew, but boy, was I surprised to find meaning number two. Meaning number two says, if you are present, you are 
there. If only I'd known that before I caused trouble everywhere. Because now I can see how a word can be. Um, but, or a boost, it's up to me. Because the dictionary is a booster. Now that's what I know. And when words bust my power, I'm going to look them up wherever I go. The dictionary is such a boost for me. I made up this poem called Ode to the Dictionary. You want to hear it? When you're talking with your friends and you're feeling right, you may hear a word doesn't sound right. you got to stop right there. Find out what that word means. You'll be glad you did for the wisdom it brings. Get a dictionary. Make it your friend. It will help with words till the very end. Fill your life with meaning. Help yourself grow and more understanding through all that you know. You got to look words up. Look words up. Look words up. You got to look words up. Get a dictionary. Make it your friend. It will help you with words until the very, very end. Well, I'm so glad you came today. That's the rest. That's all I really have to say. But I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you come back tomorrow, too. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.